Andrew Tate says his diet consists of cigars and coffee. Let's find out what that's all about. Wildfire. Wildfire. Everybody in the States. Especially because I smoke. Especially because I smoke all the time. Right. But, but it was actually very refreshing to hear. I have zero smoking damage in my lungs. Zero. I was like, there's zero? I mean, I, I'll accept a little bit. <laughs> I'll take a little bit. But I think it's because I train every single day. I work out every single day. I train hard every single day. And I think, you know, you, you burn it off. A couple cigars here and there are not a big deal. It's not cigarettes. I think cigars are better than cigarettes. I also believe nicotine is a super drug, so I'm not going to stop. I think nicotine and caffeine. A super drug. 100%. What does that mean? Nicotine and caffeine are what I run on. Here he is saying nicotine is a super drug and nicotine and caffeine are what he runs on. This is a very interesting take. Now, nicotine has been studied and researched to act as a nootropic in some cases. And caffeine also has been studied for its benefits as well not just in appetite suppression, but in cognitive function as well. So this is interesting. He's getting into more detail. Let's see where this goes. 100, 100 that's all I run on. Coffee's for closers, bro. Tell him, tell him. <laughs> ten, I'm the only one that, that drinks coffee, the two, the two of us. Oh, really? By the way, you know who, uh, who talked about nicotine? Tucker Carlson talked about nicotine, right? Have you seen that no. when he talks about nicotine where he starts his days off, his day off with nicotine? Or, Fire, yeah. 100%, fire blood. I, I, I have fire blood is the term for how you feel when you have nicotine in your system on an empty stomach. And now Tucker Carlson's talking about it. I'm sure Patrick Bet David and his partner, I don't know his name, I'm sure they're very much familiar with the benefits of coffee doing what they do, especially coming from a sales background. This is interesting. This is interesting about 10 to 15 cups of coffee a day and two or three cigars a day and i only eat once a day and it's funny because people 10, my to 10 to 15 coffees a day two to three cigars a day and one meal a day that is the andrew tate diet ladies and gentlemen what do you think is it extreme could you do it i myself personally i love the feeling of being hungry i feel like i can get more done i feel like i can just do more with my day and do more with my energy when I'm um, at least a little bit hungry. 15. Cups of coffee a day, minimum. Minimum. Wow. But yeah. well, you don't do drugs. Zero drugs. You'll do... You'll Speaking of coffee, I've got one here. And then I've got one here for my alter ego who comes out after I've had this one. I have a sip of alcohol every once in a while. I used to. I haven't had alcohol in nine months. I've quit. But you're running on caffeine and nicotine. and nicotine. It's funny because people look at my physique when I put pictures up and they're like, what's your meal plan? I'm like, bro, cigars and coffee. Coffee and cigars. Coffee. That's his meal plan, cigars and coffee. <laughs> I eat once a day. I what eat, time? I eat dinner only. That's it? Only eat dinner and eight. So you do intermittent fasting for every 18 day. hours? What? Yeah. And 80 to 90% of my calories are meat. That's it. I'll just have like three. Okay, this is a bit to unpack here now. He has one meal a day. He fasts for about 18 hours throughout the day. At the end of the day, he has a meal which is 80 to 90% meat. So he's pretty much on the carnivore diet combined with fasting. You've seen his physique. It speaks for itself. Something's going right. Mistakes for dinner. Now, how much of that is genetics? How much is that like? The, I'm not sure if it's genetics, yeah. but that's just how I feel best. And that's interesting. Patrick Bet David asks how much of that is genetics. I would argue it's not really genetics. If you're only eating one meal per day, that meal is three steaks, as he said. During the day, you're drinking coffee and you're just getting stuff done. You're the type of person that Andrew Tate has grown into. Then I would say it makes sense and genetics really don't have much to do with it at all. I would argue anyone could go through a similar process, a similar routine, and over time, eventually build a physique worthy of respect. Combined with training, combined with that one meal a day, only eating protein. It sounds simple because he's simplifying it so much, but in practice, that's not as easy as it sounds. One meal per day, hard training, going through all the stress that he goes through. So many people eat just out of boredom or out of stress. Try 
not eating out of stress or boredom for one week and see if you can even last. So it's not as simple as he's making it sound. Well, it is simple, but it's not easy. I'll say it like that. I feel best when, if I, if I smoke and drink coffee all the time, I feel hungry, which motivates me, and I feel energetic. It's energetic hungry. That's how I like to feel when I'm working. I want to be hungry. If I eat, I'm tired. Life's too good if I eat. I'm in my mansion, I've just eaten. She's beautiful, I'm in bed. He hit the nail on the head here. I can't relate to the mansion part, not yet at least, but when you eat and you're full, you just feel satisfied. You just feel satisfied. And that's why it's such a popular quote to never be satisfied, you know, don't be satisfied, proud but never satisfied, or how these quotes go. It's because when you're satisfied, that's synonymous with being complacent. And that's the last thing myself or anyone like me wants, including Andrew Tate. So you don't wanna be comfortable and eating good all the time, it just makes life too good. So you always have to be at least a little bit hungry if your goal is growth. <laughs> no, but if, but if I don't, life. yeah, but if I don't eat, I'm like, maybe, I wouldn't say angry, but I like to have that tinge of irritableness. Does that make sense? I don't know, maybe I sound crazy. What it's how mean? I get things done. It's how I get life done. It's just how I- cups of coffee a day, three wow. cigars, and you eat once a day. That's right, yeah. And you train every day. I train every day. And it's working, well, working for you. It's how I feel best. I don't know if I, if you wrote a book on uh, Tate's diet, if that book would do well. <laughs> well, I had, I had, well, this is interesting because I had a blood test when I was in hospital for yeah. all these things and my testosterone level, I'm not gonna pretend to be an expert on male hormones because I'm not, I don't understand them. I don't know what measurement it's in, but it's, it was between nine and 27 is the testosterone, the testosterone level, the mark. It can be between nine and 27, the normal range. I've never taken a steroid in my life. I don't inject anything. I don't take any pills, nothing. And I was 32. I was above the normal scale and I'm 36 years old. It's supposed to be going down. So whatever I'm doing, I'm sticking to it. What was so he scores a 32 on the testosterone scale, which the normal healthy range is between 9 and 27. In this test he did, he got 32. Whatever he's doing is working. Would a doctor agree with his routine, his regimen? Probably not. Does it still work at the end of the day? Clearly it does. So it's up to you if you want to take his word for it or if you want to try it out. I myself, I can definitely understand and agree with how his process works. Is it ideal for me? Is it optimal for me? Is it something I want to adopt? Maybe not entirely, but there's certainly a piece or two I can take from his puzzle and add it to mine diet and your regimen while in jail there was no Cigarette. coffee there, you... oh, i had coffee and cigarettes don't worry bro i had those really i spent my commissary money on coffee and cigarettes i had coffee and cigarettes and one meal a day same so there was commissary money yeah so we had to give you that yeah even in jail it was coffee and cigarettes for mr tate that's it for the video thank you so much for watching i just wanted to react to this portion here where he's talking about his diet mainly thank you so much for watching if you have any questions drop them in the comments I'll get back to each and every one of you. Maybe I'll make a video about it. Thanks again for all your support. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one. Shoot for the stars.